What's up guys, it's Jasmine aka Loka back here with another video. Y'all already know who it is. Um, today it's gonna be a get ready with me. It's cause I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long time. And I do have a lot to talk about. I guess I can like talk while I'm doing makeup. I was gonna do a voiceover and try something different. But I decided let me just catch up. Let me let all my like people catch up on what is going on, um, how I'm doing with this pregnancy, and let's just get right into the video. So we're gonna start with my eyebrows. Today is me and Chino's 10 months being together. No, I think it's 11 months. It's our anniversary, so yesterday we like go do something. So I don't know if we're gonna do anything today, but I know I want to like um I want to like be pretty at least. So. Um, so I am t 16 weeks and, um, 16 weeks and two days, um, the vomiting has stopped. So I don't puke no more. I'm not that tired anymore how I usually be. I was always like in bed, always in bed, always in bed. And... Now I'm not. I have energy to get up, do YouTube videos. I just haven't been doing uh, makeup tutorials, and I know that's what you guys been wanting me to do. So we're just gonna do the other eye off camera. So I'm done with my eyebrows. Now we're just gonna move on to my primer. But y'all know what the primer I always use. I use it from Flower. It's the Flower Primer from Flower and. PR1, I don't know, get it from Walmart. Anything that's primer, it'll do. Um, but preg um, pregnancy wise, symptoms, I don't really get any anymore. So yeah, um, these pills are for like nauseous, but I don't need them that much anymore. Don't throw up. So that's good. Now we're gonna move on to my foundation, which is the Fit Me um, Poreless Matty um, in the shade 110. I do wear a lot of foundation, I guess you can say, because like, I have a lot of blemishes and pores like, that need to be covered, so. Now we're gonna grab our sponge and we're going to wet it. And I just use a setting spray, but it has just water in it, so. That's what I use to wet my sponge. And we're just gonna blend everything out. I can't wait for fall, you guys. Like, wait, is it considered fall already? But I love fall. Like, I really do. Like, fall looks like that dark, like, hair. I don't know. The orangey look. Guys, I've been kind of wanting to do go trick or treating this year, but I don't know what to dress up as. I was thinking maybe a kangaroo. Or pregnant n of a pregnant nun, that'd be funny. I need some ideas since I'm pregnant, and by the time October comes, I'm going to have a bigger belly. So I know for a fact, like I need to find out something really good so I can get dressed up as. Because I'm still a kid, like. I mean, I'm 18, but I love Halloween. That's what I love. I love Halloween. 
And we are just going to conceal my eyebrows with the same foundation. But we're going to be using this brush right here. Uh, foundation. And we're just going to clean your eyebrows up. Usually I wear concealer. I do it with concealer. But if it's just almost out, so... Yeah. Which is, is it so good. So yeah, if you guys have any ideas of what I should be for Halloween, please let me know. I would love to know. So I figured out the boy name. If it's a boy and I just really need to like prepare myself for a girl because like I know I'm probably going to have a girl only because my family always makes girls but I'm just praying it's a boy but I will be happy with whatever if it's a boy it's gonna be named Jasper Samuel Manuel I mean yeah Jasper Samuel Manuel Diamante and then if it's a girl I don't know but if it's a, that we already got the boy name, but if it's a girl, then that's when we'll start figuring out the names for the girls, for the girl. But right now I'm not really worried about it because I already got a name picked out. So if it's a boy, I already got it. But if it's a girl, I don't mind changing the name and I don't mind like looking for a new name. So now we're going to move on to the eyes. And since I'm having these kind of colors on... I was kind of like going for maybe a green. I don't know why I don't do green, but there is a first time for everything. So I have this green from the Juvia's, but the Zulu by Juvia's. Ooh. And I do have this like shimmery green by the Magic Mini. I kind of have a look. It's in my head. So we're gonna go in this shade called Ye Yehidi from the Magic Mini by Juvia's and it's this color right here. We're just gonna like smush that on there. So yeah, we're just gonna start. Now, I also don't use blue like this. So this is also a challenge for me too. My senses say just pack the color on right now. Like that. We're just gonna go on to the other eye and do the same thing. Go in with the green on the Juvia, the Zuzu palette. And I'm going to put that right above the um, blue and just blend those two together. Hopefully it comes out good. Now I kinda need to fluff the green out more. I'm gonna pop on some more green. Okay. And I feel like it's still not blending how I want it to. And just work that out. Like this is not even a blending brush, and it works better. <laughs>
Okay, so now we're just gonna do the same to the other eye. So we're gonna go back in with that blue shade, same brush, I know I have a habit of doing that, and just kind of like proceed what we were doing and just make sure it's dark again. And then just go back and do the green again and then blend those, that blue. And the green. And again, I know a lot of girls be irritated because I use the same brush. I'm sorry. This is all I got. <laughs> So we're going to put the, the blue also in the outer corner, right here, and then the inner corner, okay. Okay, now we're going to grab my little concealer, my littler concealer brush, and we're going to cut this bitch because we need to. But I feel like it's gonna kind of be like a halo effect. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but definitely like a halo effect. I feel like I don't have thick enough concealer. I always cut my crease with a certain type of concealer called Glamour Lounge. So I'm just gonna use that one instead. Yo, I think my boyfriend has came home. Great. It's alright, looks alright. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this color. I haven't used this color yet, but I kind of wanted to, so that's why I kind of did this whole look. What it's called again? Green Paul Poa. Hey, babe. Hi. It's our anniversary today. I'm doing something different in my eyes, so that's kind of look like kind of look weird. I never use green, so. Mm. I feel like I kind of look good with what I'm wearing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Love you. I don't know. I think it's some like, some like, you know, old history like names and stuff. But I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna start in with my fingers because with these types of shades, you wanna use your finger so the glitter is not like stuck. What? Okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna go on into the other eye. Beautiful. Okay, so now that I got that done, I'm gonna go back in with the green from the Juvi the Zuzu palette by Juvia's, and we're going to put that. So we're gonna just grab this brush and we're gonna go back in with that green and we're going to put it like on the two sides of the, um, like, I can't explain it. Just look at what I'm gonna do and I'm just gonna zoom in, girl. This. And with the other side. Well, okay, we're just gonna go back in with this brush and we're gonna grab that blue again and kind of like help it move in with the green. Okay, so I kind of did that and now I'm just gonna pop. Actually, I'm gonna go in and define the blue 
right above the um, the silver. So I'm gonna go in with the same blue and kind of just define it out, define that line. Okay, like that. Now we're gonna pop on our lashes. I don't feel like doing a liner. So now we're gonna do contour. Well, my eyelashes are drying. We're gonna do some contour, cream contour. I just noticed I have something blue right there. So now I'm gonna use this brush also to just blend my contour out. So we're going to put our concealer on that I barely have any of. Same with the other eye. I really do need to get some more concealer. And then I just mix it with my Fit Me. And blend. Blend. Away. I always do that. Now, the setting powder I use is from here. I use it in the translucent extra coverage 107041. We're gonna set our under eye with all of this powder. I used to set my whole face with this kind of powder. But no matter what color you get from this powder, I feel it makes you have like a pink flashback. I don't know, it just gives your whole face a discoloration. So I really don't use it to set it everywhere anymore. Just to set under my eyes. Ooh, I should put my eyelashes on. Okay, so now we're just gonna finish setting the under eye area. And now we're going to set our whole face with the Bonnie Choice. We're gonna set our whole face with the Bonnie Choice um, translucent powder. And we're gonna use my brush that I usually just take the powder off, but I'm gonna put it on, use it to put it on. I'm just gonna like set our whole face everywhere. Okay, and now we're gonna grab that same brush and use the powder that we're using now and just carve out right here so our bronzer will be more noticeable and cleaner. 
We're gonna go in with bronzing since we already did the contour and the bronzing. And I'm just gonna grab this angled brush. I'm gonna brush and use the color that I always use, this one right here that's almost wasting out. It's like a 50 50 for me. You either get good products from Elf or you don't. So, yeah, I really like your lipsticks. So now we're going to grab our brush again also and just take the setting powder off. Now I don't know what I would use for the color lips, maybe a nude because it's just weird if you would wear like a blue lip color with this. I don't know what y'all think. That would be weird. So now I'm gonna go in with my Take Me Back to Brazil and I'm going to use this highlight that it comes with right here. It's a beautiful highlighter. I've been using this since I've got the palette. Um, I don't really have problems with it. And yeah, it's a pretty color. You kind of gotta be using it a lot. What's up, babe? What are you doing? Why are you doing? You don't want to go in? Are you ready? No. <laughs> okay, baby. Okay. You're going to go to the dealership with your prison sandals. Show them your prison sandals. These are my prison sandals. I survived 10 fights. 10 fights. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here. I don't want to rush through my video. Give me a kiss. So it's cute. It's like a it has like a gold hint to it, and I like it. Usually, gold highlight don't look good on me only because of my skin tone. I think gold highlight looks really, really, really good on dark girls, like brown girls. They look really good with highlight on um, gold highlight. So I think that's pretty um, on them. And I think more like of a champagne color looks better on our type of skin, but. This gold highlight is doing it for me. I like it. And the fan brush, I got it from my sister. I think it's from Elf. Um, I had traded her. Mine's was pink and it's like it was white, but it was pretty and it didn't work that well. And I told her that and she still wanted it, maybe for decoration. But this one I like. I'm using this fan. I like this fan. I don't know how she didn't like this fan. But I'm liking it, bruh. So I'm just gonna grab a brush. And go in with my highlight. I know you guys been wanting me to get a P.O. box. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting one soon. So you guys can send me things. I know a lot of moms wanted to send me things for pregnancy. And I would love that. I would do unboxing reviews. Definitely. Fan letters, I would love that. I kind of start putting the highlight between my bar my brow bone now. Like my slit, only because I think it's cute. My 35 OS Morphe palette, and I'm gonna go in with this, sh this shimmer. It does not have any like, um, doesn't have any like um, color um, names to it, so. I just go off the colors and I'm gonna use this one that right here around the rim. I'm almost done with it as you can see. I'm gonna put that in the inner corners of my eye. Okay, and we're gonna put that right in our nose because I like my nose highlight to be popping. That's just me. It has like a little like sponge top to it. And we're gonna go back in with we're gonna go in with this dark blue that we used for our lid for our eyes. And we're gonna put that in the bottom. And 
and I'm not gonna go all the way in but then I'm gonna go in with the green also from the Zuzu palette And then we're gonna go back in with our Brazilian and I'm gonna go in with this black right here in the middle and put that right in our waterline. Okay, so now we're just gonna grab our mascara and do our eyelashes. Lipstick wise, I'm gonna go in with this brown. You guys can see. Yeah, this brown. Now last but not least, I grab these Q-tips and I just take the makeup off my tattoos and I know I never really did this on camera, but it doesn't really mess up my makeup, so. That's really it for this look. I think I did a really good job. Um, I went out of my comfort zone. I really don't use green or blue eyeshadows. I feel like I was going to look like a whore. But it turned out I don't. I look, I look good. I feel like it's different. It's a different look. Um, I barely use greens. I barely use dark blues. And I barely use silver. Because I feel like silver is like a, such an old school look. You know how like... I don't know if you know what I mean, but all, like our Hispanic moms would wear like wear blue eyeshadow with like silver in the inner corner. <sighs> I don't know if y'all parents were like that too, but a lot of my parents was like that, and a lot of people that I know would wear like that style, like that weird chola style. But I feel like I did this really. Look, I, this this was a challenge for me, really. I think it was really a good challenge for me, out of my comfort zone, and. Yeah, most of the products you guys know I really don't list because they're not like real products, but for more YouTube videos, I mean for more like makeup videos, just let me know if you guys want to do more. If you guys want me to do more makeup videos, let me know. Uh, just stay lit, stay on the loca, stay loca. Till then.